You see, I'd heard stories about managers and $2 bills before. One of them took place at Taco Bell. It was an old urban legend which probably came through your email at some point. And it was true, as I learned when I visited its author, Kurt Kohler. This was in the 90s. Taco Bell had a new 7 liter Brio, and it was 99 cents at the time, which is cheap, and I was young, and so that was perfect. And so I had one $2 bill, and I had a 50 for some reason. I can't tell you why I had that. That's a lot of money then, right? But I kind of gave them the choice. Here's the 50, here's a 2. Like, which do you want to take? Turned out they didn't want to take the 50 because it's a large bill, and uh, they didn't know what the 2 was. So the manager comes out, and the manager had never seen a $2 bill either, which is surprising. And it's like, well, I've never seen this before. You know, I'm not taking this. He ended up calling mall security, which is an you know, odd choice, but mall security came. That guy knew you know, what a $2 bill was. So there was like a little exchange that happened where it became clear to the people working there that, oh, the $2 bill is a real thing? Oh, oh OK, yeah. And then um, they ended up giving me the meal for free because they uh, wasted my time. So they felt bad about it, and they said, well, here you go. You know, sorry about that. Uh, the internet was new and there weren't websites really yet or anything like that. There was a culture of posting just random stories and random things to news groups. So this to me was hilarious. And so I just came home and stream of consciousness, you know, wrote it down and then sent it. It got passed around. And I think that story hit a nerve at that point because I walked into Taco Bell, I tried to spend real money, they should be trained to know what money is, you know, that sort of thing.